so next is the fracture location most lesions generally are subdivide the mandible into different anatomic locations symphysis and parasymphysis body angle and ramus condylar process and head coronoid process and alveolar area uh, multiple uh, fractures are those involving more than one anatomic location of the mandible symphysis and parasymphysis these are fracture uh, uh, in the area between the canine teeth here you can see this area is known as the symphysis and parasymphysis in the middle uh, you can say this is a symphysis and around this is uh, parasymphysis but there is no clear cut demarcation between the symphysis and parasymphysis but this uh, uh, demarcation between the body and the symphysis is the canine area this uh, uh, symphysis and parasymphysis fracture may be uh, simple as well as the complex here you can uh, uh, see the uh, simple symphysial fracture shown in this diagram orthopentogram of a uh, simple uh, symphysial fracture uh, this image shows a, a PA view of the same patient this is the axial CT uh, that allows for a proper assessment of the vestibular and lingual cortices. Uh, the complex fractures uh, of the symphysis and parasymphysis area that is between the uh, canine teeth of the mandible, uh, these complex uh, fractures include the comminuted fractures, uh, chronically infected simple fractures, and uh, defect fractures. Uh, this uh, image shows <coughs> an axial CT view. Uh, of a comminuted uh, symphysial fracture. This image shows a coronal CT a view of the same uh, case here. You can see a shattered area of the uh, fracture. Uh, this is a clinical photograph of the uh, same case. Now, uh, um, body fractures, these are the fracture between the mandibular canine uh, and the line between the uh, second and the third molar. Uh, it is further uh, divided into interior body that is a, a fracture area along the uh, K9 and first uh, premolar and uh, uh, mid body that is along the first uh, second premolar and first molar and the posterior body that is the fracture area along the uh, second molar. Uh, similarly, uh, the body fractures uh, can be simple fracture uh, as well as the uh, complex fracture. Here you can see a uh, uh, simple fracture showing here and these these are the uh, complex fractures so this uh, 3d uh, reconstruction shows a simple a right interior body uh, fracture with an associated uh, left mandibular angle fracture uh, this uh, sagittal ct scan is of the same patient showing this uh, fracture orthopentogram shows the same patient with bilateral uh, fractures here you can see this is the body fracture and this is the angle fracture uh, body uh, complex uh, fractures these complex fractures uh, are in the area between the canine tooth and uh, and the second and the third molar uh, area as we described in the previous slide uh, these complex fractures include the uh, comminuted fractures including the basic uh, triangle fractures or butterfly fractures uh, chronically infected fractures also infected simple fractures are treated like comminuted fractures uh, defect fractures uh, where the inferior border segment uh, with or without alveolar bone is missing and uh, edentulous atrophic mandible uh, this image uh, of orthopendogram shows a bilateral mandibular uh, fracture in the uh, mid body on the left side uh, and the angle on the right side both fractures shows a fragmentation uh, with a basal uh, triangle that is a wedge here you can see uh, you can appreciate a, a mandibular body basal triangle fracture uh, which represents a low grade of uh, complexity so this is all about uh, the different terminologies used commonly for mandibular fractures have a nice time